proved exactly such a bike in Europe. With the paperwork needed to put the bike on sale complete, it's likely to be no more than a matter of days or weeks before we get sight of the finished machine, and unlike the smaller ADV150 that's offered in some other markets, the ADV350's European approvals mean it will almost certainly be sold over here. As you might expect, the ADV350 is based heavily on the components and technology of the Forza 350 and SH350i. The approval documents show that the engine is borrowed straight from those models, with the same 330cc capacity and identical performance, power peaking at 29 horsepower and 7500 rpm. It's slotted into a frame that closely follows the dimensions of the Forza 350. The wheelbase, at 1520mm, is 10mm longer than the Forza, likely to be a result either of longer force, or the use of larger diameter wheels to give the ADV350 an off-road look. The overall length is stretched from the Forza 350's 2147 mm to 2200 mm, again probably down to the more off-road style suspension, wheels and tires, and the width rises from 754 mm to 895 mm thanks to much wider, motocross-inspired bars. Weight rises too, from the Forza's 184 kg wet to 186 grams for the base version of the ADV350. There's also a second model that weighs 2 kg more at 188 kg wet, although with no changes to other dimensions it's impossible to tell what change contributes to that additional mass. The only dimension that's reduced compared to the Forza is the ADV 350's height, which is adjustable from 1,295mm to 1,430mm thanks to a movable screen. With approval for the ADV 350 granted, it won't be long before Honda officially unveils the model. The remaining question will be how it's priced in comparison to the more conventional, street-oriented Forza 350 it's derived from. The X8EV, despite sharing its engine with the NC750X Adventure bike, costs around 40% more than the NC750X, thanks to higher spec suspension, brakes and the use of Honda's DCT dual clutch transmission is standard to contribute to an eye-watering 10,949-pound RRP. The ADV350 isn't likely to be such a big leap up compared to the Forza 350, which costs £5,499, so a price of around £6,000 seems likely. All new Honda ADV350 has a chance to launch in Thailand, the first in the world at the end of this year, from which it has been discovered the ADV350's model name has been registered previously. Recently, there has been a stream of possible news. In the release of this big scooter from Honda in late 2021 and we may see the launch. In Thailand, it is the first place in the world as well. The all-new Honda ADV350 is expected to use the same S Plus engine as the FORZA350, coming in a 330cc 4-valve 1-cylinder configuration, with the help of a balancer shaft and piston oil jet injection system but of course, in the matter of the external appearance, it should follow the guidelines of the younger ADV150, but scaled up to be bigger than before. And also analyzed that what should definitely be installed in the car is the Showa rear sub tank that will help better absorb bumps on bumpy roads including semi-motorcycle tires that will be put on and of course, a feature already in Forza 350, is the traction control system. It should not be missed to include it. 
The price of the new Honda ADV 350 is expected to be more than 10,000 baht more than the Forza 350. Depending on the features to add more and it will use Thailand as the main production base of this model. Like Forza 350, so Thailand, we may have a chance to launch the first place in the world as well. Just like when the Forza 350 was launched. All new Honda ADV 350 is all set for launch in European and UK market. Trademark documents have noted an incoming model from the wing badge, as the Honda ADV 350 crossover scooter is named. Honda effectively wrote the modern day book on the true crossover adventure scooter back in 2015, with the launch of the XADV. Now it looks likely that the Japanese giant is looking to tap into the mid-scooter segment in the same way, as the ADV 350 is named in documents. According to type approval documents picked up by Motorrad in Germany, the new bike is officially called the Honda ADV 350. It has also been protected under copyright laws. There is not much else to glean from the documents, but there is a strong possibility that the bike will land here. We currently have the Forza 350 mid-scooter in the UK, and it's a pretty big seller on the urban mobility charts. Secondly, the trademark document lists English as the bike's first language. Honda has reserved the AD 350 nameplate since mid-summer 2021, and while the document does not mention a release date, we have a hunch it will arrive sooner rather than later. ICMA is right around the corner, and mid-sized scooters of this kind are huge on the continent, don't be surprised if Honda Europe unveils this bike before the end of next month. What could the Honda ADV 350 look like? In terms of styling, probably very much like the Honda ADV 150 that is alive and well in the Asian market. The image at the top shows the 150, and it's a rugged little thing. Probably not what you would naturally jump to for an off-road, but probably slightly more competent than a standard twist and go scoot. Beneath the skin, the specs of the ADV 350 are likely to change little from those found in the Forza 350. That means around 180 to 200 kilograms, 27 bhp, and about 22 pounds foot of torque. With the Forza engine already being homologated and passed for EU R05, it doesn't make sense for Honda to go and spend anything more on development over and above that spec. Price-wise, we can't accurately guess how much the ADV 350 will come in at over here. The Forza is £5,499 offer in the UK. For a slightly more rugged and adventure-ready sibling, a window price hovering under the pound 6K mark sounds appropriate.